Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make an aluminum foil saucepan. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're only going to need three things. You're going to need some heavy duty aluminum foil, a little bit of bank line, and then I've got just a very small branch. And it's about four feet long, or it might be closer to a meter, a meter and a half. So, give you an idea, it's not very big around. You can see next to my finger, it's literally just a twig. All right, so I'm going to clean all of the leaves off of here, and I'll show you the next step. Now that we have our little twig branch here all cleaned off, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to fold it in half and touch the ends, just like this, so we form a nice loop. And you may want to take and, and just work this a little bit. It's a fresh green twig. Uh, it's actually uh, off a honeysuckle bush, and so these have to be trimmed regularly anyway. But you may want to just take and, and soften this down so you can get a little bit better of a circle, something like that. All right, now let's go to the next stage. Now let's take a little bit of our bank line and we're just going to make a simple slip knot in the end. Just something simple, slip knot with a stop knot on this side. So that it looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're going to find out about how big we want our saucepan to be. And so I'm going to, of course, matching these two ends here together. So I don't want it to be real big. I want it to be sturdy enough to hold uh, all of my food without collapsing. And I'm going to slide this on here. And at this juncture point, I'm going to pull the slot stop knot tight right there. All right, next, I'm just going to take the bank line and I'm just going to wind it around like this and then I'm going to tie it at the end when I get that done I'll show you so this is what it looks like completed we have our loop here the bank line just wound in a spiral down and just tied with a simple series of half hitches at this end next we want to take a bit of this foil and so this is about 12 inches here so 12 by 12 and I'm just going to pull this off and we're going to need two of these but we'll do it one at a time so what I find easiest is to take your fist and put it inside approximately the center and put this around your fist first and it forms a little bit of our pot it's a little easier to get in there and then just put it down inside and make sure of course that all of your uh, seams at the top are over the edge. We don't want any leaks. And then all you're going to simply do is you're going to go around and you're going to crimp the edge. Just like this. You're going to fold it over and you're going to pinch it. You're going to pinch it and crimp it. Just like this. And you go all the way around you get that nice and tight. And there you have the beginnings of our pot. Next, we pull off another square, again, about the same size, and just pull it off. Like this, and this we're going to use to wrap the handle so the handle does not burn. And there's different ways you can do this. Uh, again, nothing fancy, but I like to take it and kind of do it like this and then wrap it around like so just keep wrapping and then twist so just wrap it and twist and the idea here is we're trying to protect the stick from any flames and so we're just going to twist it on there just like this and there we have our pot now let's put it on the fire and let's see how well we can warm up some food. So what's on the menu is some beef ravioli. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right, looks pretty good. And 
and pour it in our container here. All right, that's looking good. And uh, depending on how big you make this, it won't hold maybe an entire can, but most of it. All right, you can see there we're a little bit full. That's okay. All right, we're gonna open this up a little bit. And we're gonna sit it down right in there. All right, tile our coals around it here and let it do its thing. All right, you can see there we've got a nice little bubbling going on and it is warming up nicely. All right, it's looking good. Now I'm gonna use a stick here, grab it by this end and then like this to pick it up. And it's been bubbling and carrying on. Boy, that looks delicious. All right, time for a little bit of a meal here. Mmm. Of course, you do want to be careful when you're down in the bottom like this that you don't poke a hole in it. That works quite well. So what's the usefulness of something like this? Well, it's something that has a handle and as a result you can, you know, hold it over the fire, adjust it around, pull it out. But also, you can carry a couple of squares of aluminum foil in a very small kit. As a matter of fact, in your wallet, purse, or an Altoids tin, and uh, a couple of small squares of aluminum foil can go a long way toward making a pretty good sized container. So I think this is a great skill to learn, something good to practice with, get familiar with it, just another tool for your toolbox. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.